super tech. It's a line of printable media that honestly, I don't feel like we talked about a lot recently. So today we're gonna change that up. All right, so let's break down super tech type of materials. Why are these products um, valuable to you? Why should you be using them? Well, for one, the super tech adhesive is exactly what it says in the name. It's a super adhesive. That means it can apply to a cotton, a poly, a nylon, polypropylene, quadora. It can apply to almost anything. Now, you can go to stalls.com and check out all of the details about this product, but I'm gonna give you some of the quick tips and uh, details about this type of media that we're going to be using because that's really what you need to know, right? To benefit your business. So the Super Tech is a line of printable media that is used um, by an EcoSolvent printer. Now, CAD Color is the role that you can purchase if you have an EcoSolvent printer in your facility, meaning you can print, cut, and apply all on your own. Or if you don't have an EcoSolvent printer, do not worry because in the CAD prints line, we can print, cut, and send your logo ready to apply, which is what I will be doing today. Now, here are a couple of other pointers, factors about this material. It's available in an opaque material. It's also available in an opaque with a dye blocker adhesive. So it's going to inhibit any type of dye blocking. But today we are using SuperTech Gloss Clear and SuperTech Matte Clear. What that means is once we've peeled this carrier away, we're going to have a gloss-like effect or we're going to have a matte-like effect. So this one is definitely going to have that really kind of shiny look. And this one is going to have more of a flat matte of course, like it says, right? Flat type of look, almost kind of like it's sublimated into the garment. Both are excellent and great ways to enhance any type of garment. Now here's the other thing. They're clear, they're almost transparent. When you put a color um, on your logo, that's when it's going to become not as transparent because obviously you can't see through the color red, right? Now, if you apply on a white garment or a dark garment, those colors are going to shift. So I'm gonna show you how to use the Super Tech line in the gloss and the matte clear, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like on both a white and a dark garment. Here's the next best thing about this product. It applies as low as 280 degrees, five seconds, peel cold, and press for five again. How quick. So. Now all we have to do is go head to the press. Stalls.com is where I uploaded a logo. They print, cut, send them to me ready to apply. So if you don't have a print cut system, don't worry, you can still get a hold of these products. All we have to do now is head to the press. Okay, first things first, before we get to the press, um, I just said it's going to inhibit any type of dye blocking. No, it's going to inhibit any type of dye migration, which is going to allow you to dye block. Okay, just wanted to get that straight. Let's get back to heat applying. Now, some of the shirts we are using are um, different sizes. Some are women's fit, some are men's, and this is just going to be an easier platen to utilize as we switch out the garments. Now, I wanna show you a couple of differences. So right here, this is the Super Tech Matte Clear. And you can tell it has a frosted carrier. And this is a good way to kind of signal to yourself that this is the matte option. Now, this is our Super Tech Gloss Clear. And as you can see, it's definitely more of a clear carrier versus the frosted on the matte. Now we also have two different types of logos here. We've got this really cool palm trees with a gradient, um, kind of a, a chevron-ish look. And here we've got, um, you know, more of a patch style, but still using a variety of colors in both types of logos. Now um, we are going to apply a gloss 
and a matte so you can see both and we're going to do it on both a white garment and a dark garment for both materials. So first up, let's go ahead and thread our white garment on here. We are going to pre-press and because we went to a smaller platen, we wanna adjust our pressure just a little bit. All right, now 280 to 300 degrees, five seconds, peel cold, five seconds, um, you want to heat apply again, and you want to use a medium pressure, which is around a six, if you are using a hot tronics press. Now, if you go with a smaller platen, then you do want to loosen up the, the overall pressure. You want to go a little bit more towards the light side. Okay, we've pre-pressed, we're good to go. The first one we're going to apply is going to be our gloss. Now this is going to go on a white garment and you will be able to see um, the difference on the white and of course the dark. Add your cover sheet. Now our press is already set up for five seconds and this will go on a rotation so we can pre-press for five and then um, apply for five, peel, and apply for another five. Because we need to peel cold, let's just toss this over here. I'm gonna take this off the press, set it to the side, and we can continue along. So next is going to be white, again, but this time we're going to do the matte. Now, once we have peeled our carriers from the other designs, we'll come back and hit everything again for five seconds. Now in terms of production, even though this is a cold peel, this allows you to continue moving pretty quick because you're only applying for five seconds. Once you're done with your first initial press, go back, peel, and then come back to the press and keep going. Now what's great about the Supertech lineup is even if you're using opaque, if you're using um, subla stop, which is opaque with the dye block, um, then your time and temperature doesn't change. You're not gonna have any type of fluctuation. It's 280 to 300 degrees for any of these Supertech products. All right, our first one is cooled down so let's go ahead and peel and immediately oh we've got a little lift right there but we're going to hit it again so immediately you can kind of see that there is already a gloss like effect to it especially when the light hits it you're going to really see that sheen so let's go ahead and thread our garment cover sheet in another five seconds. All right, so let's finish the rest. Now this is our mat. And like I said, it kind of just looks like it is sublimated into the garment. It does have that flat finish. I don't mean flat is in textured or raised. Both of these products feel like they are in the garment, but in terms of overall finish, this is definitely more matte or what I am referring to as flat.
All right, time to check out how these products look on both white and dark garments. Now, I am going to show you gloss and matte on white first because those are the logos that you're going to get the true colors. Those logos are going to, those colors are going to pop and you're going to be able to see the difference um, between the gloss and the matte just a little bit better. So here is the gloss on a white garment. Now you can see the background, the mountains, the colors, they really come to life, of course, when they are on white because that white is giving it a little bit more of an opaque finish or opaque look. Now, if this was ivory or heather, keep in mind that means the background is going to change, giving this clear type of logo different colors. Here is the matte option. And as you can see, when compared next to each other, even though they're two different logos, this is going to have a little bit more of a sheen. You can see the gloss effect, especially when the light hits it. And this is more flat or, of course, matte but you get the vibrancy from this still and you will see the big difference when we switch to this charcoal heather garment. So let's go over gloss first. Here is gloss on your white and here is gloss on your charcoal. And you can almost not see it, but when the light hits it, there is a little bit of a pop. Now the yellow, the orange and that lighter green shade that you would see here, you can see just a little bit on this, but definitely giving you more of a tonal, a kind of a question of what's on this. Is there a logo there? But the gloss is what is going to catch their eye. Now, if we switch to matte, you can still tell that there is a logo on here versus matte because it's a little bit more of a vintage look. So switching on to matte option, yes, you can see the colors, you can see the gradient. On here, you really can't see um, the background. There's a sun in this, right? Or a moon, whatever you wanna call it. There is kind of a tan sun and you can't even really see it in this charcoal garment. That doesn't mean that this is wrong. That just doesn't mean it's bad, it's just different. So depending on what your customer is wanting, make sure you are recommending the best garment color as well as keeping in mind what their logo looks like. Of course, you can cut and weed and apply gloss and matte without any color and giving it a true tonal or almost kind of like a laser etched look with using matte. But the important thing to keep in mind is if you want a really vibrant logo, you're not going to get it when you apply it onto a gar dark garment. If you're using a lime and you're applying it to a lime garment, it's probably gonna come off a little bit more tonal than actually having that lime logo really pop like it would on white or even an opaque lime on a dark garment. These can be as spun and as creative as you like. If you have a customer that likes a little bit more muted logos, they don't want their brand to just pop out as much, then consider using matte and gloss on a little bit darker shades of garments, textiles, that way you can give them the effect that they're looking for. Lightweight, easy movement, great feel, and of course, low application make these wonderful materials to work with. I'm Kelly Walters. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember, you can check out stalls.com for more information about the super tech line, but go out, have fun, and get creative. We'll see you next time.